Hi, this is Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this tutorial we will cover the basic usage of the WP Shopping Cart plugin. Once you have set up this plugin, you will be able to start selling your products. This plugin is great for a quick configuration of physical or digital products. So firstly, you will need to download this plugin and that will download straight to your computer. Once you have done this, head back to your dashboard, to plugins, add new, Upload plugin, choose file, and I'm going to download the simple PayPal shopping cart, so I'll double click on that one and install now. Once it's installed, you'll just need to activate the plugin. So once you've downloaded and activated the plugin, you'll see that cart orders and simple cart show up on the side. Cart orders is where you'll see your customers' orders, and the simple cart is where you can configure settings. Before creating a product, we'll just configure some general settings. So if you click on settings, it will bring you to the general settings page. Just ensure that you've got your correct PayPal email address. There are many other fields in the settings that you may wish to customise. So we've got the shopping cart title. Just ensure that you've got the right currency in. And it's here that you can add shipping costs. We'll go over this in another tutorial. You can create a return URL, which I'll talk about at the end of this tutorial. But for now, I'm just going to scroll right to the bottom and update options. So now that we've configured some general settings, I'd like to draw your attention to this quick usage guide. So it's here that you can copy the short codes that will allow you to create an add to cart button, as well as create a shopping cart. So firstly, I'm going to copy this short code here and we will create an add to cart button using a post or a page. So in this tutorial, I'll create a page, pages, add new, and I'm going to sell a t-shirt. So t-shirt, and then all I need to do is simply paste the short code I've copied. So now that I've pasted in this short code, I'll just change the name and price. So mine's going to be the t-shirt. And the price is going to be $9.95, so I'm just going to backspace the two. So I'll update. And now I'm going to open this link in a new tab so that we can see what it's created. So it's created a nice page with its own add to cart button. So as you can see, a customer can come on and add this t-shirt to their cart. Although I need to go back and copy and paste the cart short code so that they're then able to check out. So I copy that short code from the settings of the plugin in the quick usage guide, but I'm just going to grab that from the documentation page. So as you can see, show WP shopping cart, I'll just copy this short code and simply paste it below where I've got my add to cart button. So if I update this, so now that I've added my shopping cart, if I go back and just refresh this page, you'll see my cart shows up below my add to cart button. It is here that your customers will simply be able to check out with PayPal. As shown in this tutorial, you can have your shopping cart below your product using the short code. Otherwise, you can place your shopping cart on the sidebar of your website. Now that we've created our product, we'll go back and we'll create a thank you page where customers will land after a successful purchase. So we'll add new and I'll just call mine thank you. So I'll add in a short description. So now I just need to publish that out. So I'll open that link. And as you can see, this will be my thank you page. Copy this URL. And in the settings, scroll down. And here in the return URL, I'll post that. And update options. From watching this video, you are familiar with copy and pasting the short codes from either the quick usage guide or the documentation page. But you can use the short code inserter. So if you go to your page and add new, so I'll create the same product so you can see. I'll go here, and here is where you can use the WP cart short code inserter. So you click on this one. And in these fields, you just enter in your product details and it will create a short code for you. 
So my product name was T-shirt and my price was $9.95. So you can add in other fields here, but for now I'm just going to insert this. So I'll publish that one off. And as you can see, it works exactly the same as if you were to copy and paste the short code. I'll now go back to my products page just to show you how you can dress it up a little bit. So if we just enter this down, you can easily add a description above and you can also add an image. So I'm just going to add a thumbnail image for this one. Thumbnail, insert into page, update. And then now when we go back and refresh, you can see that it's now got the title, a description and my image along with the add to cart button. In other tutorials, we'll cover digital products and shipping costs, but that brings us to the end of this tutorial. If you have any further questions after watching our videos, feel free to head over to the forum or email us.